Scientists working in Brookhaven National Laboratory's Department of Condensed Matter Physics and Material Science have developed a new transmission electron microscope sample stage that allows researchers to examine nanoscale samples and features in ways never before possible. Dr. Jonathan Rameau explains. Hi, my name is Jonathan Rameau. I'm a postdoc here at Brookhaven National Laboratory, and I'm talking to you now from the electron microscopy lab. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about our transmission electron microscope and how we've upgraded it with the new multimodal optical nanoprobe system. This system allows us to couple laser light onto and off of a sample, as well as perform more routine scanning, tunneling microscopy, transmission electron microscopy measurements, and electrical transport measurements. And the key to this device is that we can do all these things simultaneously within the confines of the transmission electron microscope column. Now we're gonna go take a quick look at the transmission electron microscope itself. Uh, it's fairly conventional by today's standards. We have a high voltage supply coming from a voltage tank, which is off to the side right now. It generates a high energy electron beam at the top of the column, and that's focused by a series of electromagnetic lenses onto a sample. We introduce the sample holder at this point here. The electron beam passes through it, and we have various detectors detecting the electron beam and emitted x-rays that come off the sample. The normal transmission electron microscope does only this. The goal of our product, the multimodal optical nanoprobe, or the MON, was to enhance its capabilities without having to radically redesign the whole system. And to do this, we built all of these additional techniques into the microscope holder itself. So the optical fiber from the laser control module runs into the body module of the microscope sample stage through here. This is a Teflon ferrule that provides a vacuum seal between the outside world where the fiber comes in and the light channels that run down the body of the microscope. This is the sample module of the MON. The light comes in on this channel, a channel drilled through here. There's a very tiny mirror at the bottom that reflects it. And here you can see a green spot from laser light reflected onto the sample. The sample is held on this circular looking bit, which is called the TEM grid. And above it, you can see a needle that is the STM tip, which is controlled by piezoelectric transducers further up the column here. Also visible here are sample leads, white and red here, that go down to smaller wires that lead to the sample on the TEM grid. And there is also another mirror on the opposite side here that can collect light from the sample and direct it back up the column for further analysis. The only device on here that would be present in a conventional sample holder is the TEM grid itself. Neither the mirrors for the optical coupling nor the STM tip nor even the electrical connections running down to the sample would likely be present. This is the ideal way to study any material or device that involves an interplay between light and photonic physics and optoelectronics and the structure and the real space electronic states that are present in these materials. This is truly unique. There is nothing else like this in the world right now. The multimodal optical nanoprobe enables an unprecedented merger of electron microscopy with optical excitation and characterization techniques.